Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Asian Filmist. My name is Ray and I love movies. And the movie I'm going to be talking about today is the 2016 film Scoop, directed by One Hitoshi. And it's actually an adaptation of an old 1980s made for TV movie. But this remake, it stars uh, pop star Fukuyama Masaharu and Nikaido Fumi. This movie actually came out in theaters last year in 2016. And I enjoyed it so much that it was actually in my top 10 favorite Japanese movies of 2016. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, definitely recommend checking it out. But last year after watching it, I was all but lazy to make a video to talk about Scoop. But now, you know, decided to get off my ass and finally get on with talking about the movie. And I remember last year when I first saw the posters advertising Scoop, uh, I was actually initially excited because I saw that Fukuyama Masaharu, I really love his movies. Uh, once I saw he was the main star, I was I was on board. And then I saw that Nikaido Fumi, who I also love, was going to be the female lead. I was like, hell yeah. But then, you know, taking a look at the credits, I saw that One Hitoshi was the director. And then I said, yep. That's it. If you don't know who Ona Hitoshi is, uh, you might know his 2015 adaptation of the popular manga Bakuma. Now I had never seen the original manga or anime before, but I absolutely love the live action adaptation. So knowing that Ona Hitoshi was behind this movie, I was, you know, without a doubt, I knew that this was going to be a really entertaining ride. So the story of Scoop, it's about a tabloid publication by the name of Scoop. And the main character is played by Fukuyama Masaharu and he goes by the name of Shizuka. And Shizuka, he's a veteran paparazzi cameraman and he's so good at his trade. And then one day he is, uh, he is directed by his editor to take under his wing uh, Nobi, who's played by Nikaido Fumi, who's a kind of a, a, a new face. She's a, she's a newbie journalist that works for the tabloid. But the editor wants Shizuka to train her in his ways. And so the concept of Scoop is simple enough. And what we're treated with is a whole bunch of misadventures by Shizuka and Nobi as they kind of stalk celebrities into the night, uh, waiting to get those really juicy photos. And there definitely was a lot of things to enjoy about this movie. So let's go and talk about the things I enjoyed about Scoop. One thing I really enjoyed about Scoop is that it takes care uh, these personalities who I think normally the public would see as trash, would see as despicable sorts of human beings and actually turns them into likable characters and those kinds of characters I'm talking about are the paparazzi and the kind of ideology that these paparazzi dudes go by is that celebrities are in fact hypocrites and it's a job of cameramen to expose them in their most purest and innocent form and whether that be uh, sleeping with a celebrity that they're not supposed to be sleeping with or doing something that they're not supposed to be doing that is when you reveal how they really are to the public and I think usually the image that we would probably have of paparazzi is kind of like you know stay the, uh, stay the hell back man. you're invading privacy but you just can't help but get drawn into the this story with the paparazzi as the lead characters it's a really interesting take on it all and to top it off to see Fukuyama Masaharu's performance as his veteran cameraman you know he did a really good job too like like seeing Shizuka talk about uh, the tricks of the trade, uh, the best things to do, the best kind of techniques uh, to get the best kinds of photos to young Nobi who's learning. Uh, it was really intriguing and interesting to listen to. And speaking of characters, the performances by the two leads were so fun and so entertaining to watch. Uh, and it essentially is a buddy comedy. You got two, two characters who are essentially like oil and water. Uh, they don't get along, they're totally different personalities, and they do nothing but bicker and argue and it's so fun to watch like you know Shizuka he's trashy he's sexist he's an asshole and normally these kinds of people when we really meet them we would think ah oh, we just can't help but be disgusted by them but you just can't help but be entertained by how, by how clever that he is and then you have Nobi who's you know who's the apprentice but at the same time she wants nothing to do with Shizuka she actually detests everything that Shizuka does and is actually disgusted by him and she herself is clever and street smart and sad too but you know she's still green in this field so seeing her doing everything that Shizuka instructs 
you know, it's kind of gripping when you see her actually going into un uncomfortable territory and really just putting herself out there. And so the kind of story that we have is not only a buddy comedy, it's also a story about a mentor and student. And we kind of get both dynamics in this story and they're really fun to watch. And I don't know, I kind of always see Fukuyama's characters in other movies as kind of cool, but in this one, he's just so funny and so almost unrecognizable as this trashy dude, Shizuka. And without a doubt, Fukuyama takes the spotlight. He's the absolute center of the entertainment, of all the enjoyment in this movie. And another thing I like, not only is it a buddy comedy and a mentor teacher story, it's also kind of a heist movie because you got the two leads kind of sneaking and pulling off their tricks to get the juicy photos of celebrities when they're not expecting it. Like they do a lot of tag teaming, like one of them will set off some fireworks so the, the, the celebrity they're targeting will open the window where in his birthday suit with kind of with another celebrity he's not supposed to be sleeping with kind of looking out the window trying to see the fireworks and then you have the other cameraman just taking photos and snapping away and then once they get noticed they have to go run away before they're caught by the celebrities or their bodyguards and it's like you know just like any heist movie you're you're gripping the edge of your seat hoping that they'll get away and another thing I really enjoyed about this movie while the beginning and the middle of the story were pretty much comedies uh, it kind of it kind of transitioned into this really dark final act. Now normally, I, I'm kind of against, or I'm, I'm, normally I'm not really fond of stories that start off as, as fun comedies and they transition into something really dark, but the way they kind of built up for them in this movie, like you, they really built up the characters and they built up your connection to the characters here. And it, I thought it really worked out for this story. And that dark and dramatic third act centered around another thing I enjoyed about this movie, and that was Lily Frankie. I swear Lily Frankie is in everything nowadays. You know, and he pretty much plays the same type of character. I don't know, but I feel like the, his character in Scoop was probably the most different, you know, other than his character from Yakuza Apocalypse. That's a kind of different movie, but I think for the most part, his characters are generally the same, but in Scoop, I really enjoyed his character here. And so those are the things I enjoyed about Scoop, but we got to talk about the negatives with the story. So let's go ahead and dive right into that. So what what did I not like about the movie? Well, you know, diving a little bit into spoiler territory, so spoiler warning, uh, there's a bit of a forced romantic plot that I thought that was quite unnecessary. The story didn't need it, but I think the I think they just put it in just to kind of show some skin from both characters, but it's kind of awkward. I mean, Fukuyama Masaharu, he's, I don't know, 20 years older than Nikaido Fumi, and I don't know, you know, they're both hot for their respective age groups, if you will, but seeing them together in a romantic scene, I, I don't know, I, it was kind of cringeworthy. I don't think it really needed to be needed to happen and you know honestly that's pretty much one of the only things i disliked about the story but one thing i do have mixed feelings about is that uh shizuka never really grows out of being an asshole he never really uh, he never really stops being a dick. You know, in the end, it's funny, but keeping him as a dick and, and having him not change really so much, uh, I thought, I don't know, it kind of was a, it kind of took a hit to his character growth. But one of the reasons I say I have mixed feelings about it is because underneath that layer of asshole is a lot of redeeming points that you just can't help but love about the character. And that being said, the bottom line I have to say about Scoop is that it's fun, it's entertaining, each of the actors pull off really stellar performances to make their characters likable and it's a nice blend of buddy comedy, uh, mentor and student and also heist to get you a nice fun filled adventure filled with laughter and tears. And I definitely recommend this movie especially if you're a fan of those aforementioned genres but especially if you're a fan of Fukuyama Masaharu or Nikaido Fumi they really show off their acting chops in this film. And those are my thoughts on the movie Scoop. What kind of thoughts or questions did you guys have? Let us know in the comments below. And as always everyone thanks for watching and if you like what you watch please like and click to subscribe and of course feel free to join in on the discussion all right i'm gonna watch some more movies guys i'll check you guys out in the next video peace ものは確かにいただいたぜ。